This is a uh, video installation guide for our new product, the uh, voltage stabilizer and grounding kits. This is a Japanese made product that basically allows you to gain about a 7% horsepower gain uh, at the higher RPM levels. It reduces any kind of voltage breakup whenever there's a demand for power. Uh, it also reduces a lot of uh, frequencies when it comes to uh, radio interferences and also uh, allows you to run any kind of uh, stereo system or any kind of aftermarket accessories that are current intensive without uh, interfering with the power that's uh, being delivered to your motor. Uh, this is the actual box that you will receive when, we, uh, when you purchase it from us. These are the items that are included inside the box. There's also an installation, uh, uh, installation guide with the box. It's not displayed right now, but you will receive that as well. We will go ahead and start with the installation of this kit. It should be fairly simple, uh, probably about a 15 to 20 minute installation. The first step to installing the voltage stabilizer is basically to uh, remove the bolts from the positive and negative terminals. What we're going to do is we're going to actually uh, tap into the positive and negative terminals. As you can see here, there's a positive and there's a negative, positive to positive and negative to negative. Once you install them, we'll do a quick test here. You will know that they're installed correctly because you'll have an LED light that will turn on on the voltage stabilizer itself letting you know that the installation is correct and that the voltage stabilizer is working correctly as well. So now what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and install the on the positive terminal first. And then we'll also do the negative terminal as well. And now that we have that done, we'll go ahead and mount the actual voltage stabilizer itself. Now that we have the uh, voltage stabilizer installed, uh, positive on a positive and negative on a negative terminals, we can actually just mount this uh, stabilizer um, anywhere on the firewall. We do provide you basically these double-sided uh, stick tapes. Um, they're very, very durable by 3M. Uh, you can actually get them inside the uh, package that we send you. Uh, the easiest way to install it is just to go ahead and stick one side on the voltage stabilizer. Make sure it's on there nice and firm, and then go ahead and peel it right off, and then you can install the back side. We found a good location right in this area where we can just go ahead and stick the voltage stabilizer, and it will stay in place. And as you can see, it's very tight in there. It's not going to move, and uh, the installation of the voltage stabilizer itself now is complete. What we will do next is basically install the actual um, uh, grounding kit, which will be completing this installation altogether. Once we got our voltage stabilizer installed and also mounted in the correct location, uh, our next step was to ground the uh, the body to the actual uh, motor itself. Uh, the grounding the grounding kit comes with basically about five grounding wires. We use about four of them today. Um, I have uh, three more here. Depending on what type of vehicle you have, you might be able to use all of them. Some of, some of you guys might not. Uh, I'm going to show you some of the places that we actually did the grounding. As you can see, there's a good grounding mo point on the motor itself. It splits off into two locations. And we also did a ground on this side of the motor itself. It goes directly to the body. And what this will do is actually prevent any kind of voltage fluctuations. And the voltage uh, uh, stabilizer itself acts kind of like a capacitor to the motor itself and to the battery and to, alter to the alternator. So whenever there's any kind of voltage fluctuations, it will actually back up the alternator itself. And at higher RPMs, you will reduce any kind of voltage breakup, which will increase your power and will also reduce your fuel consumption whenever you're just driving at a normal speed on the freeway.